How you doing? It's Sean O'Brien again with Two of You Guys in Gear. And today we uh, we got another shotgun video for you. This time we got something a little different. It's the uh, SRM 1216. Yeah, I think this shotgun's a lot different, not a little different. So this is a, it's kind of a cool shotgun. So it's actually a, a rotating cylinder uh, shotgun, magazine cylinder shotgun. So each uh, cylinder in the magazine holds four rounds right. and there are four cylinders. So it, it's, it has a 16 plus one capacity and it's, it's a 12 gauge rated for three inch magnums and um, it's unique. So yeah. Sean and I, we shot it a little bit a little, today and it's, it's once relay. you get the hang of it. Yeah, once you, once you figure it out how to, how to rotate it and all that. Yeah. It, uh, it's a fun gun. Yeah, it runs pretty good actually. Yeah, so uh, we haven't had any hiccups with it uh, that were not uh, user error right. uh, when we first started running it. And um, it's a cool gun. So uh, this is a US made company. I yes. believe, and mm -hmm. uh, it's lifetime warranty, which is cool. And uh, I mean, how does it feel in your hand? Uh, it feels good. It almost feels KSG-ish. Right. It does. Weight-wise yep. and, and, you know, um, so. Yeah, and I think the barrel on it is an 18-inch barrel. So that's, right. I guess, your, your shortest barrel you can go without getting into the SBS. But I do believe they have SBS versions of this as they well. They do. They do. Which is cool. Obviously, your, your capacity is going to be reduced. Yeah, the cylinder's shorter. I think it uh, it chops six inches. I okay. think it's a 12. Okay. Cool. I think it's a 12-12. Yeah, and that makes sense. That That is cool. <laughs> so uh, we're running this one today with an EOTech, unfortunately. The saga continues and the battery's dead in the EOTech. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what we're going to hit downrange, but we've, uh, we'll see. We've got some steel downrange that we're going to try to blast. And uh, we're just shooting, the, you know, our normal uh, cheap Walmart ammo. We did mix it up with some uh, old vintage in the wet basement uh, number four shot that Sean found from who knows where. Got that mixed in there as well. We also got some uh, some of the old Spartan uh, buckshot, double odd buck. Yep. So, so we just got a variety of... Uh, a mashup of stuff we threw in the tubes. Yeah, and so far it's been running everything. Yeah. So, no problems. So, uh, now this is a cool gun, how it works. So, um, I guess what we're gonna do with it is, is actually when you rotate the cylinder, it actually closes the bolt. And at that point, it is a semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, yep, there you go. And then once the bolt, or, or once that cylinder is empty, it'll lock the action back. And then you just rotate it again, and it'll pick up a shell, and it'll close it, and you're ready to roll. Yeah, once you rotate it, into position, it automatically closes. So it's definitely neat. So you want to uh, start shooting? Yeah, let's give it a run. Right. That's it, it won't close unless there's a, okay. sees around in the cylinder. You yep. can rotate them and it won't close. So that load that did uh, that did fail on us, that was a failure to extract. So it did right. shoot off. So uh, that was probably our first failure all day, which I guess, you know. That was one of the low brass. Yeah, it was one of the one of our cheap rounds. So um, you want to start loading this thing up and I'll give it a run? Yeah, to, uh, to get the, the mag out, you uh, hold this down and just pull it right out. And... Uh, Pops off. Hold that. So the cool thing about this gun, I guess it's mostly designed for, or um, I guess they're trying to sell it to law enforcement, and it actually uh, has availability to run less than lethal loads. Um, they have two bolts for this gun. One is for shooting standard shot shells, and then they have another bolt that you can put in the gun, and it'll be designed for shooting the less than lethal rounds. So I'm guessing bean bags and rubber bullets, things of right. that nature. Will it, will it take a three inch shell? It does, it takes three inch shells. Um, one thing I think you mentioned earlier is I wonder if it takes the Aquila mini shells. Yeah, I was so. um, like the KSG, I wonder if you could, uh, you know, I don't know how many it would hold, but in theory, say 30 right. mini slugs. Yeah, and that, if it does, if it shoots mini slugs, this is a, uh, a winning ticket. Yeah, and uh, we just looked them up on Gunbroker and they're running 15 ish plus. Right. I've seen them as high as two grand um but they're, they're out there yeah um, yeah it, it's it's this, kind of kind of pricey but, yeah um, if this you is can our get first them, time shooting it yeah if you can get them to run then i guess it's money well spent you know yeah so far it's definitely a fun range way i can tell you that yeah it's definitely a fun to shoot all right let's uh see now 
what we're going to have to do, we did find this out. This is one of our user error problems that we had earlier. We have to shut the bolt in order to load the magazine. All right. We're going to shut that. Load that in. We should be good to go. We got to pull the bolt back. There you pull go. Back. Now I just rotate it. And it may pick up. Oh, that was a jam. Was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there yeah. we go. You Not sure what happened. That was probably user error. <laughs> All right, let's try it's it It's the gun's out. fault. There you go. Ran them all that time. Yeah, that was great. So, you know, like I said, that first shot, I think that was my problem or my fault, you know, with why I didn't pick it up and run it in. But uh, this thing runs great, man. I yeah, like it. I, I think it's cool. Um, you know, once you get used to the rotating part. Exactly. Exactly. That's the thing is because not only rotating, but you have to push this. Push the lever push up. Push the, the lever up. You know, yeah. once you get that, the hang of that. Right. It's, it's really not bad. No. So, and it's actually, you know, it's surprisingly comfortable. You know, this isn't your standard foregrip on this you know, gun. To, to you check. know, does that, that thing take a choke? It does not. So uh, it must just be a cylinder, cylinder bore, bore. I'm guessing. So that's it. That's the uh, the M1216. Yeah. So I like this gun. I like it a lot. Yeah, so it's, uh, um, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do some more shooting with it. And um, yeah, if you like us, you can check us out at uh, Two Eight Guys and Gear on Instagram, and uh, Two Eight Guys and Gear on YouTube. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you.